don't you just hate blackouts especially when your phone is low on battery like mine is right now ah this is so much better at least on the equator you can always rely on the good old sun but we have some work to do i've got three tasks that i have to accomplish today and i hope you're going to help me along the way the first thing is figure out if i can generate my own electricity the second thing is to see if i can build some kind of generator and last but not least i need to see if i can charge my phone with the power that i'm able to generate we're going to need a few things for this obviously and i forgot my phone is dead so it seems like I'm going to need help for this. So let's go find some help. Luckily, I found Daniel Dongo here. He's a science educator and he's going to help us through this experiment. We got the potatoes, the lemons, we got copper, then we got some wires and we got a voltmeter. Let's come back to this because this is obviously not a Kenyan shilling what we use here. This is a 5 cent euro coin and we're using this because this has copper. This has copper. Copper is a good conductor. All right, and our coins don't have that. I think they're nickel coated. What do we do? I'm excited. Just take that one. Screw it in. So these screws are important because they have the zinc. They have the zinc. Okay. okay. All right, simple enough. Then the next thing is we need a uh, the copper coins. So they Your copper in. coin. If you don't have access to a copper coin, what do you what do you use? So you can use a copper wire and such. Any wires, even this one. Okay. So you can actually then use this copper wire. All right. Yeah. So it also has to go in. Oh, this is gonna require all my m muscle power. Yes, nice. <laughs> you did it. At the moment, remember everything has uh, electricity. So we have some current, but it's not flowing because electricity comes from the word electron, and electron uh, are found inside an atom. And everything, even as human beings, we have atoms. So as long as there's atom, we have electrons. And the moment we have the electrons flowing, that's where we get electricity. What we're trying to do here is move electrons from one side, from one side to, to the, the other. other. To test and see whether it's uh, possible, we have a voltmeter because what we use to measure the current is in voltage. We're going to take uh, one side, put it in the positive, and the other one side in the negative. As you can see, it's still at zero, no movement. Mm -hmm. But put it on one side and another side and you can see some movement because there is current flowing. Let's see how much power the lemon has. Do you think this so. is going to be more or less? Let's see. Yep. You see? That's giving a pretty strong 5... It has a point 0.5. Point five yeah. yeah. Lemons and potatoes contain acid. So we get electricity because of a chemical reaction. Zinc from the nail loses electrons and starts to break down. This is the negative pole. The electrons are attracted by the copper side, which is the positive pole. The flow of electrons is electricity. I came here hoping to be able to charge my phone. And with five volts, that's, that's not gonna work, is it? Yeah. So let's get something that will give us more voltage, more electron flows. Let's get a little bigger with this experiment, yeah. Mm. A set up there. Something else that we need is a wheel. So it'll protect our eyes. Goggles, check. Uh -huh. So the other thing that we need is now for us we would connect this to the motor is that we, we can use a chain mm -hmm. or a rubber band. So <laughs> that looks like it's going to snap. <laughs> oh, that's really taut. We're still trying to generate electricity, right? So what's fundamentally, in theory, what we're trying to achieve? In this ones, we have a wheel which has energy. And then the moment it starts moving, it becomes mechanical energy. And then we have our motor here, which acts as our generator to turn that mechanical energy to electric energy. Mm -hmm. So we have our wheel there. Mm -hmm. If we rotate it, you can see it's rotating the motor, right? Correct. At the moment, we are presuming there's some voltage running inside there. And so we have a voltmeter here to measure and see. Mm -hmm. So this much one, more so. compared to the potato mm -hmm. already. Let's test with the bulb to see. All we need to do is just connect the terminals. Again, let's see. Do you see anything coming? There are the lights. It's Christmas time. <laughs> Just answer the question, my phone. Mm -hmm. This is not going to cut it still. So this one is at 2.5 volts. Yeah. Your phone needs up to around 5 voltage. So if you had maybe a double size, you'd be able to produce 5 volts. And the battery is powered between 4.5 to up to 5.5 voltage. So first, to be able to understand that, let's first see the whole flow of Electricity, where does it come from? You know, at home, just switch on the lights. Where does it come from? Mm -hmm. So let's start by doing a sketch here. So we have our motor there. Mm -hmm. And then inside the motor, we shall have magnets. 
other center we have the copper wire. Mm -hmm. Remember what we said, copper has electrons. Mm -hmm. And we said power of electricity is just the movement of electrons, yeah. right? So the moment there is some movement and it's continuous, then you have the electrons start flowing, yeah. right? And as the electrons start flowing, then we have the electric uh, current. Yeah. yeah, which is then mm. taken, which is then to taken the either to stored or we can connect it to an LED bulb and such. Oh, I feel 10 times smarter than I was when I walked in here. Daniel, thank you so much for this. Okay guys, we're back and it's time to figure out how did we do? Now, of course, we don't have days and hours to keep cranking our little generator, but I think we can all agree that I successfully generated my own electricity. Guys, that was so much fun. You should definitely try that. And was I able to build a small generator? You saw it, I saw it, we did that. So, yes. And was I able to charge my phone? Unfortunately not, because as you saw, we simply weren't able to generate enough power to do so. Maybe with more people turning that thing the whole day, we might be able to. Uh, so, unfortunately, small x on that but we still had a great time doing this experiment let us know what you think and if you have other things you think we should experiment we'd love that so until next time bye bye